Hello, welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda. It is Friday, which means five on Friday. This is a series that was started by Suey over at Suey's Books book banner where uh, each Friday we give five themed recommendations. It can be anything. We don't coordinate. Um, my hair's weird today. Sorry. <laughs> we don't coordinate our, our topic. So I don't know what she's doing today. You'll have to go over and check out. Now, Suey takes a lot of time into her videos and makes them look really slick and everything. I set a timer for five minutes and try to get through these five book recommendations in five minutes. So no editing, just Whatever happens will happen. Well, let's see if we can do it. Okay, let me start my timer here. I should always have this queued up beforehand, but I'm not that organized. Okay. And here we go. So this week, um, I, the books I'm giving to you, whoop, I'm going crooked here already. I'm messing it up. Um, the books I have to take, I can't really recommend, not because they're bad, but because I haven't read them. These are five books that I really wanted to get to in 2023 and didn't. Um, they are organized by size, so my pile looks nice. So let's get started. The first one, Demon Copperhead. Uh, I kept saying I was going to get to it and never did, but it's on my shelf. I may actually wait another year to read this just for things to calm down a bit. Uh, but everyone's read Demon Copperhead except me. And I even got my nifty copy from paperback copy from England, which was cheap. Okay, the next one is Morgan is My Name by Sophie Keach. This is like a retelling of the Arthurian tale through Morgan Le Fay. This sounded fascinating. I even tabbed it up. Did I read it? No, I did not. I do hope to get to this one and actually all the other ones that I have mentioned today. I do hope to get to in 2024. Um, but yes, so that is the next one. So with the retelling, we're going to stay with the retelling, and this time we're going to go a little bit farther north to Scandinavia. I have The Weaver and the Witch Queen by Genevieve Gornachech. So her first book, which is hard, is one of my very favorites. It was a five-star book, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I have heard that it's good, not quite as good as The Witch's Heart, and that's fine, but I still want to read this one, and I just didn't get to it in 2023. All tabbed up, ready to go. Notice that I have physical copies of all these books, which means I spent money on them and I did not read them. Okay, the next one I have, I'm going through this really quickly today. I could probably say a bit more, but the next one I have is Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. I really liked Mil Miracle Creek, her first book. Um, this one seems to have more hot and cold responses, but I'm interested to see what it, to see how it works for me. Um, this one and the next one, and probably probably the two before it. The reason I didn't get to them is they seem to come out at a time when a lot of books came out. And it just, with the crunch, they're the ones that I just didn't get to, even though I really, really wanted to. I had been planning to read this since I got it, I think in August or September, and it just, it just didn't come together for me. Okay, wow. I've like got, oh, I'm not even halfway through, and I'm already on my fifth book. Amazing. So finally, same deal. Symphony of Secrets by Brendan Slocum. I really enjoyed his first book, The Violent Conspiracy. I did not think it was a perfect book. Um, I had some pretty, I've got something stuck in the back of this one. As I said, no editing. <laughs> um, not a perfect book. There were some things I had issues with and I wanted to see if he corrected them in his next book. My arm is getting tired, sorry. So um, I am interested in reading this. Again, I've heard hot and cold things on this. And that's probably, I also, probably a good thing that I kind of waited for both this and Happiness Falls because of the hot and cold response that I waited a little bit till it's a little bit, you know, the people, the immediate reactions are past before I got to it. But I am really interested in this. Um, I really think Brendan Slocum is an author with a lot of talent. Um, I love his his take on it. He goes, he goes, takes musical topics. He himself is a concert violinist. Um, I played the violin in school. So um, really looking forward to that one. I have like a minute and a half left. So I'm going to show all the books again so, that, so I can put them back in the nice pile. Symphony of Secrets by Brendan Slocum. Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. The Weaver and the Witch Queen by Gene Genevieve Gornacek. Morgan is My Name by Sophie Keach. I have not read this author before. This is the only one that's a new author for me. And Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. I have pretty much decided to wait another year on this book. Um, but of the other four books, if you have any feelings on those that you want to give to me to either encourage or discourage me from picking them up, please put them down below. 
I have a minute to left, but I'm just going to call it now. I went through it quickly. Those are five books that I wanted to read in 2023 and did not. So let me know what you think of those. Uh, like, subscribe. Feel free to join my Discord down below where you can talk to me all the time. Um, thank you very much. As I said, no editing this time. So there you go. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.